Um, Ollie, really tough one to take, I imagine, for everyone in the Sheffield United dressing room today. Yeah, man, it's, it's tough to take. You know, like we were at our best in the first half. We knew that we changed things at half time. The gaffer changed things and came out in the second half and we had the game where we wanted it. It's so frustrating, you know, 2 1 up. I mean, momentum's all in our, in our side and you know we concede two sloppy goals and obviously own goals happen but it's the build up before the goals which we're not happy about in there you know it's organisation and concentration and um, yeah it's a tough one to take. That must be particularly frustrating given the the success at Villa on Friday night was about organisation and, and discipline. Yeah we knew today was going to be a different game obviously to, to, to Friday the boys were excellently um, defensively in shape but again you know it's a 98th minute the, at the, at the weekend, the equaliser at the weekend, it's killed us. Um, it's, it's just so gutting, man, like you say. We, we had them where we wanted them, we had the momentum with us, we knew we were doing everything we wanted to do, and one game, one goal changes the result, changes the momentum of the game, and then the second goal is a killer, and uh, yeah, just immediately frustrating. Was there some uh, questions around the, the second goal in terms of should it have been a corner in the first place? Should it have been a foul on Robinson in the middle? There, there were certainly things that we were looking at. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a corner. It was either a free kick or a, or a goal kick. So it's, I don't know how he's given a, a corner. The, the lads booted it out of play and it, it, you either say George has fouled him or it's, a, or it's a goal kick. So I don't know where he's got a corner from. But then, yeah, Robbo said he's getting grabbed around the neck. I've not seen him, but I think we should be higher as a... As a, as a defensive, you know, we're in our six yard box defending crosses and not stop the cross, so it's a frustrating one. But yeah, those things happen in football, but there's only things, certain things we can control, and you know, we haven't done that today and we've paid the price. Irrespective of it, I mean, you, you've come from behind to get ahead, you've wrestled kind of control back of the game. Is that the most annoying thing today, just with the nature of those second goals, in that you seem to have done the hard work to get your noses ahead? Yeah, we had, we'd done all the hard work and we had the we had them where we wanted them, we had the game where we wanted them, we was in the exact position we wanted to be and that's the, the most frustrating thing, I don't know what it is, can't, can't put my finger on it, but yeah, we've, we've, we've let them back into the game, we've, we've, we've poor goals from our, from our point of view and changes the result. How big a, a blow is it really in terms of the season as a whole? Clearly these are a team that are in and around you that you'll have wanted to win today and it, and it leaves you further adrift of them. Yeah, of course, we knew it was a massive game going into the game. Um, but irrespective of that, we know we knew that the result was the result was massive, and we had them where we want them, you know.